Uh, Mike Williams, not trash. He signed a fifteen uh, million dollar contract for one year with the Jets, and uh, uh, so he heads to the Jets. And I want to be fair here. Let's let's just talk about the Jets for a second, but not in the same way that we did so much during the regular season that we all just wanted to throw up in a bag. This is not about Aaron Rodgers. I'm just asking, as much as we were sitting here a year ago saying, Jets, 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 they've made some moves that have addressed some of their weaknesses. Like, are we sleeping a little bit on the Jets? Tyron Smith was a great pickup for Yeah, him. that's a, like, that's the one. And they're not paying mm-hmm. him insane money. I get, I'm well aware of every Cowboys fan on Twitter who doesn't like his health history, but he was healthy last year and he was playing at a high level last year. And that was an, a dart worth throwing, a chance worth taking. Like that was a smart move. Well, Jordan, look how they did the contract. I mean, his contract, it's a one-year deal. It can be worth a lot, but it's all tied to how much he plays. So if he's healthy and he plays games, he's going to get paid. And I think, you know, personally, when he's been healthy and been on the field, I think he's been a very good player. He's much better than what they've had to deal with at the tackle spots for quite a few years now. Um, So Mike Williams aside, yeah, to me, that was the big one where I'm like, okay, they needed, really needed a building block and someone who I think not only is he the anchor on that line, but he can be a leader amongst that group. And they will, I think they're going to continue to, to add to that group. I think you will see in the draft that will add to that group. You know, Mike, in a way, I think like Mike Williams, I think there was a, possibility that they might have gone wide receiver if they could have angled and gotten the right wide receiver in the first round of this draft. Um, Now I think Mike Williams probably, you don't need it as much. Um, So it opens up some flexibility for him. They've, you know, they're all in. There's no question about that. Who was, who is the GM? I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. Who said, who's talking about making a move. And he said, uh, you know, if it works out, nobody cares. And if it doesn't work out, I won't oh, be the here. Bills. Yeah, the bill, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and this is the same mentality. If if this if this all works out, nobody's gonna care what money they devoted or who they brought in or what the deals look like. Um, if it doesn't work out, everybody there's gonna be fired after the season. So and the other move that I think we should not underrate is the signing of Tyrod Taylor because Backup quarterback Zach Wilson versus Tyrod Taylor, that's a huge upgrade. And look, they need Aaron Rodgers to play if they want to go like super far, really chase the playoff goals they want. But they don't need Aaron Rodgers necessarily to be healthy for 17 games to do that. It would be preferred, and he has a pretty good health record in this league. But if he has like three or four games, something happens, they want to give him a couple extra weeks. Like let's say I remember a couple of years ago, Dak tweaked his calf. There was a game. And then, or there was the bye, and he, then he went into the bye week, and then he had the Vikings game coming out. And they're like, you know what? If we could have two straight weeks of him not doing anything, because one was going to be the bye, and the next one was going to be the Vikings, like that's worth it. Put Cooper Rush in, and I would feel way better about putting Tyrod Taylor in for that type of game to give Aaron a oh, little yeah. bit of more more time at this age, coming off an injury with Tyrod Taylor and Zach Wilson. So I it's think a high level should. backup. Yeah, they learned yeah. right. I mean, that's a I couple just love games. the fact, by the way. Like, we forget that Cooper Rush for that limited time was just good enough that there were Cowboys fans out there that were like, we don't need Dak, we have Cooper. I just just want to remind everybody of that insanity. And also, I, I love what you said, C-Rob, about the draft, frankly, because I do think it gives the Jets a ton of flexibility. And if they do go offensive line at 10, which would make sense, there's great players out there, they don't need to necessarily plug and play somebody right away. They can bring them along. This feels like smart long-term building while you're also addressing short-term needs. So... I, I, I've been tough on the Jets repeatedly since they signed Aaron Rodgers. I, I just think they've had a pretty good they've had a pretty good, pretty good little off season here. 